So it kind of pains me to make a video like this just because how disturbing it is. Uh, my name's Derek. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, we sometimes talk about some serious things. Um, some things, you know, I like to joke about. But this isn't really a joking matter. This is actually something seriously disturbing, uh, especially for the YouTube community. Um, and first and foremost, if you're a part of the First Amendment auditor movement, which there's nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with being a First Amendment auditor. There is a problem when you're being a, a fucking idiot, a dumbass, causing problems when you don't know what you're talking about. We already know people like that. Sweetie, he's one of them. And you you know plenty of other ones. They just do this to harass people to get a rise out of things. But that's not what we're really here to talk about. I was watching the Mass Hole Report stream from last night, uh, this morning, and... Something super disturbing got at me. Um, she was talking about a guy named Jeffrey Russell Sutton. Um, he is a registered sex offender, um, allegedly. And my again, guys, anything I say is just my opinion. I can't prove these things, but and that is an extreme thing to say. But I do trust the Masshole Report on her. You know ways of getting things out there. She's got a really good track record. But this guy, and I'm not going to watch any more of the video. I watched plenty of it to get my fill to understand what's going on here. And I honestly, if you guys want to check it out, go to Mass Hall Report and watch her latest stream. I will not share any type of link to this or a video. I just want to talk about it really quick. Kind of give my um, input on it. So what is, what happened? So this guy is a registered sex offender. He decided to go to a park, a public park, full of children, and decided to make a video with them and actually brag about it. Now, one thing, you don't go to a park where there's tons of children being a sex offender and start video recording them to try to prove a point. And his point was that he wasn't a sexual sex offender and he could do whatever he wants. So he was filming children, zooming in on them, and making some really lewd comments. And it was disturbing, just really creepy. It's just imagine, okay, you have children and you're at a park and some random guy comes out of the far and starts recording them. Then you come to find out that that person is a sex offender. It's it's really disturbing. Really disturbing. One thing I can't handle is rapists, sex offenders, liars, thieves, you know, bullies. You know, I, I don't like any of that. But this Jeffrey Sutton character, I don't understand why he thinks that it was a good idea to do that. Especially if it's true that he is a sex offender, and I have no doubts that he isn't. Um, he is. He is. Just the way he's so excited on the video to talk about how he's recording these kids paints a really devastating picture for people like that. Now, he brags that if you are a taxpayer, we are supporting him doing these things. So what I take from that is he probably doesn't have a job, just so like some a lot of the bigger First Amendment auditors, they don't really have jobs. Their job is to go and cause problems, harass people, stuff like that. And like I said, not all First Amendment auditors are bad. Uh, we can we can kind of prove that. Last night's stream uh, with Legicator, we had a few people that was in that community, and they're great people. Um, but this isn't the way to do it, uh, especially if you're a known felon, especially a sex offender. That's completely fucked up. Really bad. Now, I have a nephew and a niece, uh, three and four years, three, four and five, I think. Yeah, they're four and five years old, and I will do anything in the world for them. Anything. And, you know, I, I, I'm really good with children. I've always have been. And, you know... If I see somebody trying to hurt a child, it's not going to be good. I, not going to be good at all. And if I find out that you're a sexual 
predator and you're doing these things, it's really not going to be good for you. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to hurt you, but I'm going to hurt you uh, really bad if I ever catch that. Um, and, you know, I'm sorry, it's, you know, violence is not my thing, but, you know, there's a lot of things I can't handle. And, you know, disrespect to my friends, my family, my fiance, and especially my, you know, nephew and niece, uh, just not happening, just not happening. And this guy is out there at a public park filming children and thinking it's the greatest thing. Like, he's only getting like a few views from this. I don't know what he's trying to prove. Um, and you can watch the whole video and he's laughing about it. Um, you know, I, I don't understand why a lot of these auditors, like the big ones that cause the problems, feel like they have to justify or clear their names by doing the dumbest shit you can think of. Um, it's, it's annoying. One, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. And especially what this guy was doing does not work, does not work. And it does make me sick thinking that, Hey, we pay taxes to support that motherfucker. I mean, it's true. He, he is true on that. If he's just collecting welfare check or whatever, uh, social security benefits or what dis disability we are paying for that and you know it's okay for for some but people do clearly take advantage of the system which i'm assuming this is what this guy does he takes advantage of the system he knows what he is and he tries to push the envelope further and further and further and this is gathered from what I watched from Asshole Report. It, it didn't take me much to realize what he what he is. Didn't take much. I watched enough to get my feel of it, and this is my opinion on it. Um, that guy needs to be kicked off YouTube. Clearly needs to be removed. That violates terms and services big time. It's illegal. For sure. For sure. It's a, and it's disturbing. But that should be removed from YouTube. And I don't say that lightly. You know, I don't even say Sweetie needs to be removed from YouTube. Even though he does do, do some shit that he needs to be removed. But I never say that. But for this instance, immediately, he needs off here. This guy needs off of this platform. Uh, and, you know, if all this stuff comes... I, and I hope, I hope that this somehow, if he is a sexual predator and he's been in trouble for it and he's maybe on probation for it or whatever. He should be on a, I, I'm looking right now at um, the sexual offender list right now. And I'm pretty sure I got the right guy. Um, and he is a registered sex offender. Jeffrey Russell Sutton is the sex offender. And you can see him. He does fit that, uh, stereotype don't 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 support that if, if you know you're on his channel and you come over here and try to defend him like a lot of people try to do they try to defend and justify this guy you're a fucking problem big time you're a problem and you need to get out like stop supporting stuff like this stop Stop supporting Sweetie. Stop supporting all this stuff, this harassment bullshit, and especially sex offenders. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know, these people are good salesmen. That's what they are. They're salesmen. And they're good at it. And that's why they have people following them. Even though they appeal to the lowest common denominator of people, they're still getting something out of it. But it's kind of hard to tell what this guy, what he's getting out of filming these children. I, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. This stuff I don't even want to touch. But if you ever run across this channel, go away from it. Don't, don't support it. Don't give any views to it. Uh, let YouTube algorithm work its way out. Work it out. And hopefully there's enough people that reports him that they can finally do something about it. Um, you know, just don't go over there and start um, 
harassing him, which I know you guys won't. Uh, you know, my community is really, really good. The, the community that we built here has been great. Um, but, you know, just don't harass anybody. That's that's my thing. They they can do whatever they want. And eventually it's going to catch up. I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan of karma. I believe karma hits people really hard. I've been hit by karma. I know what it's like. Everybody gets hit with karma. And people like that, it gets hit really hard. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you um, understand how I feel about this. Um, even, like I said, I didn't watch. I watched just enough to get my feel of it, to understand exactly what's going on. And, yeah, this is the last video we will be doing of this guy. No more after this. And I know you guys are like, oh, you said about Sweetie. But no, no, this is done. This is done. Uh, the only way we would be talking about him is if he gets kicked off the platform. Maybe we'll make a follow-up video to that. But other than that, we're not, we're not doing it anymore. It's over. That's what I feel. I don't want to spend another breath on him. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.